What's up guys, it's Jake, not your average tech dad. I just got this little thing in the mail. I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet, but uh, we're gonna have to run to the store real quick and get a few supplies before we uh, do this little project. But basically, we're gonna do a little bit of FPV everything. So I'm gonna fix one of the biggest issues I have with the DJI Spark today. And yeah, let's go to the store, get a few supplies and, and see where it takes us. Got to Joanne's. I got a 40% off coupon. Uh, usually they have what I need to, to make my little projects work out. So I'm gonna run in here real quick. I'll show you what I'm gonna grab and then we'll head back home and, and start this project. Headed home to work on the DJI Spark. Um, one thing cool about Joann's is they have a 40% off coupon that you could use every single day of the week. So if you're only getting one thing, basically it's half off every time you use it. So if you want to buy a $10 thing of tape, it's like five or six bucks, not a bad deal. All right, guys, just got back from Joann's. Let's get this little project started. So I got some double sided sticky tape. I don't know if I'm going to use this. Mostly I just wanted to use some, some Velcro so that I could put it on here, take it off of here, put it on other things. So what I'm talking about is a, it's basically a cheap all-in-one FPV camera. I got this one off of Amazon, I think it was like $15. It does like 25 megawatts all the way up to basically 200 megawatts. So with my Fat Shark Recon goggles, I should be able to get pretty good distance with this. But I'm gonna go ahead and try to throw it on here. I'm gonna DJI Spark. I've had this for a few years and my biggest gripe with DJI Spark is that basically the video transmission is just so choppy that I don't feel comfortable flying it in, um, in tight spaces. So basically I want to be able to fly this kind of like an FPV quad. So I'm trying to get an FPV flying. I got a little tiny whoop that I'm working on getting better and better. <laughs> kind of trying to get into like work my way up to a 5 inch quad and before I make that step I just want to try this. So. Um, 20 bucks, some Velcro, double sized sticky tape, let's see what we can do. Alright, so this is a little camera, um, it's really small, really light, so I don't think the weight should affect the DJI Spark, it's a pretty powerful little drone. Um, I also have some like UMX batteries that I have for, for some of my old little RC airplanes. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw these both on the Spark and uh, we'll go ahead and take it out and see what happens. So follow along, it's just gonna be real simple. Some some Velcro, double side sticky tape, battery, camera. Right now I'm not gonna do any offset. I'm just gonna set it right there flat on top. Uh, I may eventually make a mount that sets it up higher and maybe leans it back a little bit so that when we're flying at a forward angle that I'm not looking at the ground, I'm looking forward. But we're going to try this right now. I'm just going to slap it together real quick, give it a test. Uh, if it doesn't work, all this stuff is just taped on there, nothing permanent. So yeah, let's, let's get going. I'm gonna head to the 
park real quick. Yeah, let me, let me give you guys a close up real quick what I did. Um, so basically, as you can see, got the little FPV camera right here, like 15, 20 bucks on, on Amazon. I got the, the battery to power the, the FPV all-in-one camera right here on the side. Plug it in, pop on my, uh, my FPV goggles, and away we're gonna go. So let's head to the park. All right, guys, out here at this place that I like to fly has some cool um, kind of cinematic spots. But I got the DJI Spark. I'm just gonna do some basic tests right now, kind of fly it around, make sure that this little setup doesn't interfere with the remote itself. Uh, I don't want to lose the Spark, so I'm just gonna fly around here real quick. You'll see it right here in front of the camera. We're gonna take off, make sure it still hovers good, make sure the GPS connects, the return to home works, and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, get some cinematic flying. Um, try some risky flight spots, um, but yeah, see what this FPV camera allows me to do versus the, the laggy system that DJI has, so let's see what it does. Alright, let's get it up in the air and see what happens. Alright, so I am running into some issues where the remote is losing connection. So, it looks like it's trying to return to home. It looks like, it looks like my remote has disconnected, so uh, this actually might not solve issue that I'm trying to solve right here. Right now I have no control of the spark, so it's doing a return to home. I have the return to home set pretty high up in the air. So we'll see if it connects back with the remote here in a second once it gets closer. It kind of looks like the uh, FPV signal is overpowering the remote signal. And basically we don't have connection. So we'll see if it gets closer if I can regain it. As of right now, I got clear FPV signal, but I just don't have any signal. I don't have any signal to fly the drone itself. So it's right now it's landing itself. It's doing what it should do. So that's the good news. But the bad news is, is this FPV solution for the DJ Spark doesn't appear to be working. So um, yeah, we'll kind of mess around with it. Maybe I'll try to try, try to turn down the power just a little bit on the. Uh, on the goggles, see if it, it'll work a little bit better, and uh, just kind of go from there. Yeah, there's not much I can do right now. I'm just gonna turn on the power, and we'll retest it here in a second. All right, guys. So the consensus is, don't FPV your Spark. Um, <clears throat> I'll throw up some video here at the end of this right here. Um, <clears throat> it's cool for a second, but basically, when it gets any sort of interference, it goes into return to home mode. Um, I tried to do some cool, like tight flying through a tree and basically return to home in the middle of the tree once it cut out from the signal. I was only about 20 feet away from it, so it should have had good signal from the remote, but as soon as it lost connection to the remote, it basically tried to shoot straight up through the tree so that it could return to the home spot. Um, I lost the propeller, but you can't FPV the DJI Spark is the consensus. So it was a cool little project. I'm glad I tried it because if it worked, it would have been really sweet. But it's just too much interference from the FPV system. So, yeah, that's it. Here's the FPV DJI Spark. I would not recommend doing it. Um, it was a cool project, but thanks for watching. See you next time.